Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. So today we're gonna take a look to the newest MIUI from Xiaomi. And right here I have my Mi 11. So you already know this phone. I made like a lot of videos with this phone. And right now we are gonna see the changes that we got with the newest MIUI. Right now, as I said in the beginning, we have the MIUI 14 and with the MIUI 14, we have also Android 13. So this is a big update because when I first updated this phone the, the other day, so it's just a fresh update and this will be only a first look. It was from 4.5 gigabytes, more or less. It is a pretty big update. And right here, you can see that I have no update, of course, and it says MIUI 14. So you can see right down here that says what's new. So we can check, of course, the changelog after we updated the phone. And we are gonna go through all the changelog and all the changes of this newest MIUI. And we're gonna start with the highlights. So in the highlights, they said that with this newest update, we're gonna have better performance and better memory optimization. So the phone will be as it says right here, it will use less memory and it will be more responsive like when you switch to from an app to another for much more extended periods. That is what they said, of course. So we have to still test it because as I said, this is only a first look. It says, of course, that it will increase the performance overall of the phone. And for this, I'm using like since uh, a day or more or less a day so it's really really a small period of time but the phone seems like more snappier so it feels like a little bit more faster and this is of course a two years old phone but it's still a very fast phone of course because it it does have the snapdragon 888 and it feels like a little bit faster as i said and of course with the better performance and the less memory usage and all of that stuff we should have a better battery performance. The phone will be saving more battery power. In theory, of course, we have to still test it. They did an upgrade also on the security feature. And here it says that now it supports end-to-end -end privacy. So you will, now have, you will now have no data stored in the cloud. So no more data online. It will be only end-to-end. -end. And with the family services, it says right here down below, you can share all the essential information about you and your things with the people that you care most about. That's what it says, but you can choose like trust people like uh, in the iPhone right here. So you can share personal information with some trusted family members, of course. Then in the system tab, it says that it will be upgraded to Android 13, as I said at the beginning. And of course we have the newest security patch that it is not that new because it is from January, but it is better than nothing. For now, we are going to skip this Mi AI voice assistant, but we are going to talk about that a little bit later and we are going to skip it to more feature and improvements. It says search in settings is now more advanced and in fact, it does a better job when you are searching some settings, right, right, that, right here, I can search so AI, for example that I've searched in the past and you will have like very different search results. So it will be more detailed than before because before it was like a simple search in settings right down here. It will be like more advanced and it will search in the sub menus and also in the developer settings if you have those enabled. Also in the menu, in the settings menu. So right here, this is the settings main page you can see that there is a little bit of a restyle of the icon especially. So these are more like uh, colorful. And also I've noticed that they removed the special feature here. So you will not see anymore the special feature from Xiaomi, but you can see those in additional settings. So you will find, for example, a second space, heart rate and all of that stuff here in the additional settings and other settings other special feature you will find those like in the in other sub menus there are also some changes some very very small changes in the control center so it is like a little bit 
uh, restyled, but it is pretty much the same one as before. You will not find pretty much any big difference, but you can see that they changed like, like a little bit of, uh, of design in this newest control center. Then let's talk about these change changes right here that says me AI voice assistant. So here it just explains that the new AI from Xiaomi, it, it can perform like daily tasks with simple voice commands. And actually it can take also some calls. There are some videos and some demonstration online so you can see how it works because right now you can see all of these changes right here and you expect that you can find this application in your phone because this is the global version i forgot to mention that my phone it is the global version so no chinese and you expect that you find this me ai voice assistant in your phone but there is no me ai voice assistant in fact if you search for me AI right here in settings you can find also only the app that I downloaded so you can see that it is pretty much in Chinese so it, it only supports the Mandarin that's what it says at the beginning of the of the configuration of this app right here and of course it says listening to you because it can search pretty much anything and it can recognize the English and it can read also text in English but you can see that it is only in Chinese and in the home settings right here you can find different stuff you can find settings and all of the store connected to this newest me AI and also in the personal settings you can also find for example this is in English this is the only thing in English right here you can find some feature that you can see already with this me AI and for example you can create your me avatar right here and you can change the voice from the ai but if i click on one of these voice right here it's gonna speak in chinese so you will not understand pretty much anything if you are not chinese so let's try for example this one i don't know if you can hear it very well for example i can try this one also as I said, it only speaks in Chinese. You can do a custom voice right here, a custom sound. You can also buy, I think, or just download some different sound from the store. So it will be a very big update, in my opinion. It will be like Bixby from Samsung. This is my opinion, but with some more feature. And of course, if you have the Chinese ROM, I think it will be very big because there is no Google in China. Probably if you are in China, you will use only this Mi AI. So it's a pretty big thing. And also right here, you can see there is screen reader. So you can just try it right here. For example, AI screen reader, let me AI read the text on any screen. So it can read the text of pretty much anything, but it can do it only in Chinese. Right now it says that it can do it only in Chinese, but actually if you click the, the button, try it, it's gonna speak in English. So it's a little bit of a mixed thing. Right now, I think we have to wait and see if Xiaomi enables this app for the global version, because right now you can see right here, as I said, it is all, all in English, but as soon as you go on the main app, it is only in Chinese. We cannot see pretty much anything yet and this is a no sense thing in my opinion because i don't know why they just put out an update with this me ai voice in the changelog but they didn't enable the this app right now on this update by just writing this me ai voice assistant in this update if you cannot find this me me ai voice assistant in the global update so it doesn't make any sense and of course overall I think Xiaomi just disappoint me and also disappoint many people in my opinion because this feels like using MIUI 12 because it's pretty much the 12 and 13 they are pretty much the same ROM and this MIUI 14 it feels like MIUI 12 but with some small changes in design 
and small changes in colors and all of that stuff but they have like re really really small changes and it doesn't feel like a big update that it should be because this is android 13 but it feels like that you are still on android 11. and also not only that because if you download the chinese version of this miui 14 it is pretty much another word and you will find like a lot of changes a lot of new design a lot of new widget and all of that stuff that you cannot find here on this version right here and i don't know why they do these differences in the updates from global to chinese as i said before it doesn't make any sense and it just makes people upset i don't know if they want to still do this forever but i hope that sometimes from now they will change mind and just do a proper update for the global version. Anyway, that was pretty much it. So this is the first look on the newest MIUI 14. And let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this new update, we can say, because in my opinion, it is not really an update. And if you did like this video, just hit a like button down below, it's free. And also what is free, it is the subscribe button so if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, just click the right button down below because it will help this channel very, very much and it will be much appreciated. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.